frontier is defined as uncharted territory by land or notion. Those who chart that territory tell a story. The past illustrates the blueprint for the present. How things are and how they've evolved. From land to water, we are challenged to border that new frontier. A frontier the outdoorsman knows like no other. Author Gary Lewis works his way along that edge of where discoveries, failures, and achievements have written the story of the sportsman. Yes! Yes! From state to state, continent to continent, the stories told create the foundation of the present and they lay the framework for the future. Through the muzzle fire and on the stone are stories from the edge. Water is the most important thing as far as Indians are concerned, because that's, that's life. The past is written, the present is here, and this is Frontier Unlimited. I grew up right here in Kayukit. I've been here like 30 years now, over 30 years. Um, right here is um, Kayukit Chekhosset Nation, and um, my grandpa's from here, so, and my dad's from here, so that's why I'm here. Most times, back in my grandpa's day, they just moved to where, like, um, fish were, and they used to process it, smoke it, and, and they'd move to, like, where hunting was good, and, and they'd stay there for a little while. But um, yeah, they just follow the food source. They watched the forecast that called for a huge storm coming in the Pacific, and they thought they had one more window, one more chance to catch the halibut that had eluded them thus far. You got your chum bag up there? Yeah. A lot of stuff changed, like Anchors away. water temperatures, the numbers, numbers have changed quite a bit. Areas, areas changed, especially the route they used to take. Different every day, it seems. Yesterday we were pushing west. Today it looks um, like it doesn't want to grab right. You reel, and you reel, and then you drop your rod tip, and you reel down some more, and lift up, and drop your rod tip. It's called pumping the fish. Okay. Slow going down, you got it? That's <laughs> good. The reel goes in between just like that, so it catches a bite. It'll and it's got a little lock here like this. And then you reel it in from yeah. here. Especially when a fish bites, you'll see a little tap tap, and then when, when, once it takes the whole bait in, the rod will go like that, and you just um, grab the handles and just crank real nice and slow. The hooks will just like sink right in. They will? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you turned around right there. Like, oh my God, I'm like. Frozen here. Just hook them through the nose, like under the chin here. Yeah. A lot of herring around here right now. So. Okay, we're ready to put that one down? Yeah, you okay. Betcha. There must be a graceful way to do this. Yeah, that's a little. Oh! Oh, oh, oh yeah! It's also called a yellow eye. Yeah. And that's a, an old fish right there. Okay, we'll send him back down there. Okay. You drop her down like 100, 115 feet, that clip will just open. Yeah, and it just lets go. Strips the salmon belly. Tuck her on like that. They're so far down there and they have this air bladder that helps them equalize pressure for whatever depth that they come to. So if you hook them way down deep, and you bring them back up through the water column, you're bringing them up faster than they would normally come up. And so they don't have time to equalize the pressure so that that big air bladder is still inflated when you bring them up here. The captain, Kevin Sutherland, whose people had fished and hunted this rugged coastline since time out of mind. Today, Kevin calls Kayuk at home. You saw a bait here yesterday, right? Lots of bait. Yeah. You can see it in like, between those numbers here. Mm -hmm. I've seen nothing today, just like they moved today. 
Link cards. Looking for link cards. Different scale of hooks. It's not a hard concept. Drop down dead thing. Reel up live thing. Don't leave it laying at bottom. You'll no, hang bottom and down. lose. Just like this. That, that nice and high. Oh, nice and high. Just the way fishing is. The bait moves, the fish moves, and we gotta go find them, right? Just gonna move out a little more here. Um, 10 minutes maybe. It's not a hard concept. Drop down dead thing, reel up live thing. Today they were after halibut and Lewis's favorite denizen of the deep, the ling cod. But you never know what you'll get. That's the crazy thing about fishing these waters. There are critters down there that will scare you to death, and any one of them could clamp on. Still there? Nope. Frozen herring was the bait of choice, and it wasn't long before they had a fish on. Back rockfish. He's a callback rockfish. Yep. Some guys keep them, some yep. guys don't. That's up to Bill. Bill nope. you... Put him back. Okay. Check him back. All right. There are lots of different kinds of rockfish, but they were mainly targeting big lings and small halibut. That's why I'm running out of <laughs> Down she goes. There's a fish down there, and he's worrying my bait. I'm getting concerned too. Crappie? Yeah, crappie. We get a lot of crappie here. <laughs> yep. Lewis likes halibut, but he likes them small. Whoa, yeah. Different. 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 Something to eat. When it comes to lingcod, he likes them big. It's a lot heavier, this one. Lewis marvels at a ling cod's teeth. The shape of the mouth, that's the fish that was made for eating Dungeness crab. Look at those teeth. Man, those things will hurt you. But that's some good food right there. That's good food for all of us. <laughs> That's so great. Baby bear and papa bear. <laughs> when Lewis sees a guide sharpening hooks, he knows he is willing to do the extra things to make a person successful. I think we put out the fish in there. Try again. Any more bites, sir? Oh, we're at an impasse. We're in an impasse. <laughs> One of us is going to have to give. Bill doesn't believe in cod. <laughs> that was private, Gary. <laughs> I shared that in privacy, and I. <laughs> loves to catch yellow eye and he loves to let them go. There are new ways to let these rockfish go and protect them on their way back down. There's no reason they have to die because they tried eating a herring or salmon strip 200 feet down.
catch fish. You make fish tacos. They had fish tacos in Mexico and all up and down the west coast. But this might be the best fish taco of all. And you have to go to Vancouver Island to get it. They were watching the barometer drop, a pressure drop. It was the last spot, the last day, their last chance. They were on the dock at sunrise and the bay was deceptively calm. The ocean would blow up in the next few days. Hang up anywhere? A lot of big ones, but we're hoping there's some small ones mixing in. If you like that, we should stand up here. All right. Here we go. Here's a little herring for a bait. We're great here last time I was here. Well, it's the last day, and we're going to go try to catch some halibut because we thought we were going to get halibut yesterday, but we got just about everything else. All right, here we go. Little big bait, send her down to the bottom. <laughs> Alright there, that fish, it, it, that fish. It, reel, on. reel on that fish. Oh yeah, baby! Easy, easy. 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 Nice and slow. Both the horses. Nice! Whoa! 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 Man! Let's see you in a circle. Yeah, it feels like 60 pounds on that. Good job. How you doing? How's that arm? Good. You good? Yeah. Good. Good job. Wish we could have kept him. The government says you can't I keep know. the big ones. The first one was 65 pounds. He bent the hook. This one in him. Or at least he got a hook. But we needed to catch the little ones. Pick out the big one. It's a lot shorter than that one. That one's probably like 65 pounds of it. Okay. That's too big. That's amazing. Yeah. That's very big elk. No. Yeah, little bambinos is what we're looking for nowadays. Makes it harder for us to catch them, right? Got to pick through them. Let those ones go. But yeah, I don't know. The fisheries, that's their decision. They let them go when they're 65 pounds. 70. There's a lot of those here. 50 to 70. But... Oh, oh boy, he's a big one, looks like. Hey. Get on it, get on it! Oh, dog! Get on it, get on it! Come on! Don't reel it! Get on 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 it! Get yeah, he looks like a... Ooh! Ooh. Yeah, Baruni. Is that going to snap? Yeah, no, no, it's just... It's got to be a real big one. Wow! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God!
It might be more than your weight. Oh, what a beast! He's a beast! Good work, Jessica. Yeah, that was fun. Oh yeah, they're just bronze hooks and they, they rushed out in a week easy. Two days they're all colored. They're made like that, so just for that reason. It feels like, okay. Mm -hmm. Now I know like the groove and how to manage it and when to start kneeling and when to not. Yeah. So. Biggest fish of your life, I reckon. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> They had four halibut, but now they had to find the small one. Leave it to Bill to get the meat for the freezer. Got him? Yep. All right. <laughs> the drag feels too tight, just loosen it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I just want to get this guy out of the way. My lower back. <laughs> really? Like, don't pull it out. There you go. You got it nice and easy now. Nice and easy. Steady. Wow. Two fish on there. Yep, yep. Yeah. All right, we got him. Look at this guy. In the bowl. Nice. Yeah, I can grab that while you grab your fish. Halibut is food. Yeah, look at his belly just bulging. Oh, I love it. All right, good deal. That's an eater. It is. Huh? I like that size. For eating? Yeah. 90 centimeter, yeah? 25 pounds. Cool. This we want, for sure. In the hash. Thanks for bringing us here, Kevin. Yeah, good job. Welcome this way. Oh, oh my God. God. Whoa, gold. <laughs> we might want to, we might want to get this rod cranked in here. They began getting into the lingcod too. All the food they wanted. I don't know, but it's falling against the uh, drag, that's for sure. You know what happened? He tangled, tangled it side. up. Okay. Yeah, we need to unravel it here a little bit. Got it? Yep. All right, now we've got to tangle all three here. Look. Close on mine. Well, now must be a fish in Bill. I got a fishy. I got a big fishy here. What you got here? Oh, yeah. He's like eating. Oh, my goodness. He's going to be shark food before he gets back down. Yeah, I'm 
Tangled and untangled. Yeah. Neither of us went overboard. Which is great. And then we can't keep either of them. No. Yeah. Wish we could have kept that one. I know. Cayucat. It's an ocean carved outpost of extremes, with the ocean breaking against the shore on one side and a snug harbor on the other. From the surf to the mountains, it's raw, it's rough, it's real. It's hard to get to and hard to forget. And that's Vancouver Island.